What was Queen Elizabeth II's number one success secret? In this video, I'm gonna to reveal to you what that secret was and what I believe you can do to apply that secret to your life so you positively impact the lives of every single person that you meet. On September the 8th, 2022, the Queen passed away at the age of 96. She was born in 1926 and she became queen in 1952. So she was queen of Great Britain, uh, as well as the queen to 14 Commonwealth realms for over 70 years. And she inspired people all over the world. And there are many different qualities that she had. She was incredibly consistent. She was an inspirational, leader who inspired so many people and many women to take the lead in their life. She was very graceful. She knew what she had to do and she did it regardless of how she felt. And you know, when you take a moment to think about what she lived through, how our world has changed through the 96 years that she lived and in her own life, what she went through, she went through the Second World War. She went through her daughter-in-law, Lady Diana, uh, dying, divorce in the family, scandal, controversy, so many things that she went through. But despite everything that she went through, she was still very consistent. And I truly admire her. But you know what I admire about her more than anything else? And what I believe is her number one success secret. It is loving kindness. Now, when we talk about loving kindness, it might not be the most sexiest thing to talk about, but to be kind, I believe, is to be human. We are humankind. That's what we are known as. And when we are kind to others, we make a difference. And if you took a moment to think about what's the greatest thing you could ever give a human being? Is it that you give them your time, that you give them your, your space, that you, you listen to them? Is that not a kind thing to do? And when we take a moment to think about the amount of people that the Queen must have met during her reign, all over the world at functions, all of the waves, all of the shaking of hands, all of the listening to people at the events, at openings of hospitals and buildings and all of the political events that she went to, the time and the space that she gave to people. She was an amazing example of great leadership, but she was also an amazing example of being a human kind. You see, as human beings, we are also known as homo sapiens. And homo sapiens means a wise being. And you know what? I don't actually think that human beings are that wise. I think that we have the potential to be wise. I think we have the potential to be kind, to be loving. And when we think about all that is wrong with the world right now, it's because of the demonstration of the opposite of loving kindness, which is hate and anger. Rather than looking at the opportunities that we all have, to take the lead. And for me, with all the work I've ever done, with people who have positively impacted my life, I've always been really curious about what is it about them that makes them so special. And for me with the Queen, it was definitely that she seeked service over self. And that is something that I've done. I've learned that from my parents. That's what my dad taught me. And I believe that's a great thing, to be a good servant, to be a good human being, to be kind, to be loving. And that, to me, is what the Queen represents. But when people pass away, I know it's very easy for people to be sad and upset, but I think it's also a wonderful thing to stop and reflect and take something from that person that you could use to then go and impact the lives of people. Now, if you agree with me that she was a kind person who gave love to all the person people that she met. Could you do that? What impact do you think it would have in the world 
if that's who you decided to be? What impact would it have if you decided to take something that the Queen did and take it on for yourself and live on in her memory? It might seem like a crazy idea, but that to me is one of the points of life is what has been passed on to you that you want to pass on to others. Now for me as a coach, my role is very simple. It's to help people go from where they are to where they want to be, to help people fill in the gaps, to help people fall in love with their future self. And that's what all of our videos and all of the content that we put out into the world is to get people to be inspired about who they want to become and go out there and pursue that person. The queen knew the type of leader that she needed to be and she pursued that person all of her life. She exemplified what I believe is great leadership and she was a very kind and loving person. So I dare you, I challenge you to take the memory of Queen Elizabeth II and go out there and practice being a, a loving, kind human being. Rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth II. Now I can't believe we're gonna be saying, not God save the Queen, God save the King. Take care, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.